So coming to the MCQ, which was asked previously, a mother brought her six years old child, six years, six years old child, six years old child to ENT OPD with complaints of recurrent crying and hearing loss. Okay. On otoscopy, recurrent hearing loss is there. Remember this point, recurrent hearing loss. On otoscopic examination, following findings are seen. See the air fluid interface. So complete air bubbles you can see inside. So this is your typical appearance of your OME. See, what is bullous meringitis? Bullous meringitis means in tympanic membrane, you know there are three membranes. In between the middle fibrous layer and outer squamous layer, there will be accumulation of the fluid. And you will see the tympanic membrane will be bulged like this due to the accumulation of the fluid in between these two layers. You don't see any air fluid levels in the eardrop, through the eardrop. Okay. So, yes. And uh, so that is bullous meningitis. So that is not the option here. CSOM. CSOM means chronic separative otitis media. Repeated episodes of ASOM will lead to CSOM. So in CSOM, there will be persistent perforation. When do you call this? When do you, when does this acute will change to chronic? If a perforation is staying persistent for more than 12 weeks, then you will call it as chronic separative otitis media. There should be a persistent perforation, non-healing perforation. Okay. So it cannot heal by itself. Okay. That is CSOM. So here there is no perforation seen. So this is not the diagnosis. And otitis media, as you all know, this is the diagnosis. What is pneumotympanum? I don't think so. There is any word like pneumotympanum because what do you mean by tympanum? Tympanum means middle ear. Normally in the middle ear, there is already the normal uh, the, the substance present in the middle ear is air only. Okay. So that means pneumotympanum. That is a normal terminology only. So there is no word such as pneumotympanum that exists. So the answer here will be otitis media with effusion. Oh, this is clear. Yes, cleft palate can also cause glue ear because the muscles which are required to open the eustachian tube do not, cannot function normally due to their abnormal attachments. And what happens? The eustachian tube stays closed. So the patient will be repeatedly getting these episodes of otitis media with effusion or even ASOM can also happen. It can even lead to CSOM depending upon the patient and the surrounding conditions. Clear? Yeah.